muy buenas tardes, bienvenidos al stream de Ingenistas. Muchas gracias, espero que la estén pasando súper bien y que se estén cuidando ya que la pandemia sigue, pero nosotros podemos detenerla si nos quedamos tranquilitos en casa y seguimos las instituciones que nos está el gobierno. Bueno, hoy vamos a jugar Driving Essential, es un simulador, juego simulador de conducción, de conducir y es de Virtual Driver Interactive. So, let's play Driving Essential from Virtual Driver Interactive. So, many thanks to Virtual Driver Interactive for the opportunity to cover and image. Muchas gracias a Virtual Driver Interactive por la oportunidad para cubrir su juego en mi canal. Así que vamos a empezar con las lesiones. Ya, ya ven que tenemos este lesiones, tenemos free drive y pues pero vamos a ver si podemos hacer un poquito las lesiones para ir entendiendo un poquito el juego. Este, de base, el landing de base. Aprendiendo lo básico. All right, so this is where your training begins. I'll be your instructor throughout the program and we'll be here to help you every step of the way. You may already have some experience driving or this may be your first time. Either way, I think you'll learn a few things before we're done. We'll start on this test track and practice some basic skills before we get on the road. Start by looking around your vehicle. Notice the other vehicles around you. So it looks like you can see everything, but there are places around your vehicle you just can't see from the driver's seat. These are often called blind spots, and it's one reason why a car has mirrors. If you set them correctly, you can eliminate many of those blind spots. Here, I'll show you. So you start by setting the rear view mirror so you can see as much of the rear window as possible. It should look something like this. Then set the side mirrors as far out as you can, but where you can still see the side of your car, like this. Notice the life bar above. This is how you can keep track of your score during each lesson. Your score will decrease for each infraction, but will also recover as you drive along without making mistakes. Your life will completely deplete and the lesson will end for any reckless behavior like getting into a crash, driving off road, or excessive speeding. In every lesson, you'll be required to put on your seatbelt before starting your vehicle. Click on your seatbelt by pressing B. Okay, now start your vehicle. Use the D-pad to place the vehicle in drive. Drive up to each stop sign and come to a complete stop before moving forward. You don't get credit for stopping unless you stop completely. All right, now let's practice steering. Follow the path around these barriers and, you know, try not to hit anything. See, you're already a pro. Try using your turn signal before taking a left. Your turn signal will automatically shut off when you straighten out the wheel. We'll go over the use of turn signals in more detail in a later lesson. Oh, you can take a right and continue with the tutorial, or take a left and return to the parking lot. Notice you're not allowed to go straight. Do not enter signs are common, so keep an eye out or you may end up driving into oncoming traffic, which can be embarrassing, never mind dangerous. <laughs> There are many road signs you'll need to become familiar with. We won't cover all of them in this course, so make sure to review them on your own. One sign you should pay attention to right now is the sharp turn ahead, which is often accompanied by a reduced speed limit. 
this program is designed to help you learn to drive safely, so you'll have to follow traffic rules to the best of your ability. The lesson will end immediately if you drive recklessly, such as excessive speeding, crashing, <laughs> oh or going off-road. Drive up to bueno, each stop este sign and come to a complete stop before moving forward. You don't get credit for stopping unless you stop completely. Vamos a seguir las instrucciones porque si no seguimos las instrucciones nos sacan del juego, o sea, nos vuelven, nos quitan y vamos a tener que volver a empezar. Vamos a ver aquí qué pasó, que ahorita pues. All right, now let's practice steering. Follow the path around these barriers and, you know, try not to hit anything. See, you're already a pro. Try using your turn signal before taking a left. Your turn signal will... You can take a right and continue with the tutorial, or take a left and return to the parking lot. Notice you're not allowed to go straight. Do not enter signs are common, so keep an eye out or you may end up driving into oncoming traffic, which can be embarrassing, never mind dangerous. Vamos a seguir adelante porque hay un letrero que dice do not enter. Y hay que seguir las instrucciones porque si no seguimos las instrucciones... Ya saben, aquí tenemos que ir a menos de 45. There are many road signs you'll need to become familiar with. We won't cover all of them in this course, so make sure to review them on your own. One sign you should pay attention to right now is the sharp turn ahead, which is often accompanied by a reduced speed limit. Me pasa eso del límite de velocidad. In addition to road signs, there are also markings on the road that you'll want to pay attention to. A solid yellow means the other lane is for oncoming traffic and you shouldn't cross it. A dashed yellow line means you can pass, but use extreme caution. A dashed white line means there are two or more lanes going in your direction, but there will still be a solid yellow line between you and any oncoming traffic lanes. Notice the change in speed limit as we approach the final curve. This is because it's sometimes difficult to see around sharp corners and you don't know what's waiting around the bend. Pero si me paré. Ya estaba una milla por otra. Tiene que llegar a cero. All right, up ahead we'll try some parallel parking. Many people are uncomfortable with parallel parking and it can be tricky, but I'll show you how to do it perfectly every time with three easy steps. Okay, step one, pull up alongside the car in front of the space where you want to park. There are markings on the pavement so you know where to stop. Step two, put the car in reverse. This overhead view should help. Turn the wheel to the right and point the rear of your car into the space. Step three, continue backing. When your front bumper clears the other car, turn the wheel back to the left and continue moving back until your entire car is in the space. Check the overhead view to see if you've pulled all the way in. And if you find yourself not lining up, just pull back out and start over. Don't force it. It's better to try a few times than to risk hitting another vehicle. When you're done practicing and ready to leave, simply turn the wheel to the left and pull out the same way you came in. <laughs> this program is designed to help you learn to drive safely, so you'll have to follow traffic rules to the best of your ability. 
The lesson will end immediately if you drive recklessly, such as excessive speeding, crashing, or going off-road. Okay, all they know is this. Drive up to each stop sign and come to a complete stop before moving forward. You don't get credit for stopping unless you stop completely. Alright, now let's practice steering. Follow the path around these barriers and, you know, try not to hit anything. See, you're already a pro. Try using your turn signal before taking a left. Your turn signal will automatically shut off when you straighten out the wheel. Well, you can take a right and continue with the tutorial, or take a left and return to the parking lot. Notice you're not allowed to go straight. Do not enter signs are common, so keep an eye out or you may end up driving into oncoming traffic, which can be embarrassing, never mind dangerous. There are many road signs you'll need to become familiar with. We won't cover all of them in this course, so make sure to review them on your own. One sign you should pay attention to right now is the sharp turn ahead, which is often accompanied by a reduced speed limit. In addition to road signs, there are also markings on the road that you'll want to pay attention to. A solid yellow means the other lane is for oncoming traffic and you shouldn't cross it. A dashed yellow line means you can pass, but use extreme caution. A dashed white line means there are two or more lanes going in your direction, but there will still be a solid yellow line between you and any oncoming traffic lanes. Notice the change in speed limit as we approach the final curve. This is because it's sometimes difficult to see around sharp corners and you don't know what's waiting around the bend. All right, up ahead we'll try some parallel parking. Many people are uncomfortable with parallel parking and it can be tricky, but I'll show you how to do it perfectly every time with three easy steps. Okay, step one, pull up alongside the car in front of the space where you want to park. There are markings on the pavement so you know where to stop. Step two, put the car in reverse. This overhead view should help. Turn the wheel to the right and point the rear of your car into the space. Step three, continue backing. When your front bumper clears the other car, turn the wheel back to the left and continue moving back until your entire car is in the space. Check the overhead view to see if you've pulled all the way in. And if you find yourself not lining up, just pull back out and start over. Don't force it. It's better to try a few times than to risk hitting another vehicle. When you're done practicing and ready to leave, simply turn the wheel to the left and pull out the same way you came in.
ella va ahí Anyway, eso es más o menos el parking Así que vamos a salirnos del parking Vamos a... Oh fuck, me saco This program anyway, is designed a, to help you learn to drive safely aquí, So you'll have to follow traffic rules to the best of your ability The lesson will end immediately if you drive recklessly Such as excessive speeding, crashing, or going off-road Drive up to each stop sign and come to a complete stop before moving forward. You don't get credit for stopping unless you stop completely. All right, now let's practice steering. Follow the path around these barriers and, you know, try not to hit anything. See, you're already a pro. Try using your turn signal before taking a left. You can take a right and continue with the tutorial, or take a left and return to the parking lot. Notice you're not allowed to go straight. Do not enter signs are common, so keep an eye out or you may end up driving into oncoming traffic, which can be embarrassing, never mind dangerous. All right, up ahead we'll try some parallel parking. Many people are uncomfortable with parallel parking and it can be tricky, mira, mira, but I'll show you how to do it perfectly every time with three easy steps. Okay, step one, pull up alongside the car in front of the space where you want to park. There are markings on the pavement so you know where to stop. Step two, put the car in reverse. This overhead view should help. Turn the wheel to the right and point the rear of your car into the space. Step three, continue backing. When your front bumper clears the other car, turn the wheel back to the left and continue moving back until your entire car is in the space. Check the overhead view to see if you've pulled all the way in. And if you find yourself not lining up, just pull back out and start over. Don't force it. It's better to try a few times than to risk hitting another vehicle. When you're done practicing and ready to leave, simply turn the wheel to the left and pull out the same way you came in. Normal parking spaces are much easier, but choosing the right one is more important than you might think. When selecting a spot, check the space for other objects. Steer clear of any tights. Go ahead and pull all the way through and shut down your car by putting the car in park and turning off the ignition. Okay, aquí terminamos el tutorial. Good job. El primer tutorial, verde, aprendiendo lo básico. Un escuadrón de 94. Vamos a ver si hay otro tutorial. Si no, pues vamos a free drive. Vamos a ver. Aquí tenemos scanning. Esto tenemos scanning. What if. Intercession. Following distance. Space management. Management. Changing the world. Weather and world condition. Distracted daily. Putting all together the score. Um, tutoriales. Ok. Um, pero pues no vamos a jugar todo el tutorial porque si no va a pasar todo el, el stream en el tutorial así que vamos a irnos a free drive muy importante siempre ponernos los cinturones super
Oye, esa, esa luz cambia bien rápido, ¿sabes? Aquí tenemos un motociclista. Dando las señales. Voy a poner esto. Creo que las señales son con el que te... No me acuerdo bien. que tenía que esperar 3 segundos wow. eso es lo malo que como no lo puedo ver el tutorial completo es una regla que no voy a saber pero por el momento voy bien para la izquierda va a seguir por ahí que va ah es que no, no espera la señal ok miren miren los errores que hice dice no mire a ambos lados no espere tres segundos y no mire a ambos lados o sea, hay que ver a ambos lados antes de, de salir volado por ahí es verdad es verdad eso <risa> ok vamos por ahí vamos de nuevo es bueno saber ahí este los errores que uno puede cometer y que pues, pueden costar la vida de uno o la de otras personas. Vamos a mirar primero siempre. Vamos a poner la señal que no la puso ahorita no viene carro fíjate el problema que encuentro es cuando uno va en los virajes que te da que mires a los dos lados y que no choques con nadie que está al frente tuyo ni atrás <risa> ok no voy a ir a lesiones estoy poniendo mucha pela en el free drive sin is believing pero es creer vamos a ver de qué trata este tutorial Okay, so you've learned some of the basics and become more familiar with your vehicle. Now for the most important lesson. It's a simple rule. Don't hit anything or anyone with your car. It might sound obvious, but think about it. If you can avoid hitting other objects and keep them from hitting you, you have all but eliminated being involved in a crash. Let me show you what I mean. Start your vehicle and take a right out of this parking lot. You may have heard other drivers who have been in a crash say, oh, I didn't see it coming. Exactly, they didn't see it. That's why they got hit. The best way to see it coming is to constantly scan your surroundings. Scanning doesn't just mean looking around. It means searching for hazards in situations that could lead to a crash. It sounds simple, but there are some really effective ways of doing it. When scanning, follow this pattern. Look in front of you for things you have to react to immediately. Then further down the road for any upcoming hazards. Look to your left 
Also checking your left mirror. Then to your right. Finally, check your rear view mirror for any vehicles that might be coming up behind you. Okay, let's keep going. Scanning should be done continuously. You still focus most of your attention straight ahead, but rotate through all other areas every few seconds. You may need to think about scanning at first consciously, but after a while, it'll simply become a habit. Stop here, I want to show you something. Not all hazards are readily visible. But just because you can't see them, of course, doesn't mean they're not hazards or won't become one. Hazards can be blocked by other vehicles, sharp turns, even road signs. For instance, that bus to the right might be blocking a number of pedestrians. The truck to the left is hiding an emergency vehicle. And small objects like motorcycles and bicycles are easily hidden. Okay, let's keep going. As you become more experienced, you'll get better at identifying these hidden hazards. Okay, now that you know how to search for hazards, there's a technique that'll allow you to go one step further and actually predict hazards before they occur. Some objects might not look like hazards, but might display clues that they're about to become one. If you look carefully, you can spot some of these clues. ahead to your right. Notice the SUV with its wheels turned out and brake lights on? This may be an indication that the car is about to pull out. You can see that there's a driver in this truck, which means the door might open at any time, just in case you want to slow down and move slightly to the left. In some areas, you wouldn't expect to see a pedestrian, but the presence of a bus, emergency vehicle, or a delivery vehicle might mean there's a pedestrian in the area and perhaps on the road. And pedestrians are being struck and killed because they were distracted. Right? Just like distracted drivers, pedestrians can be distracted by cell phones, texting, or reading. You should look at their behavior for clues about their awareness.
another tool that's often overlooked, your hearing. You'll be surprised how much you rely on your hearing to know what's going on around you. For instance, you can often hear a car coming up beside you before you see it, or the sound of an emergency vehicle approaching in the distance. Take advantage of all your senses. This street, for instance, is full of hazards you may hear long before you see. Go ahead and pull over in front of any of these houses. Shit. Then shut down your car. Oh, hey, where are you going? Pull over here and we'll finish up the lesson. Continue using these scanning techniques throughout this course. Use both your eyes and your ears to help identify hazards. Un buen score aquí. Creo que no bajé nunca el score. <coughs> So you've learned how to identify hazards, some obvious, some not so obvious. You've even learned the first step towards anticipating hazards. But what happens when things don't go as planned? How can you prepare yourself for the unexpected? Well, let's get out of here and I'll show you. Take a left out of this exit. Stop here and look left before pulling out. Okay, you're clear to go because this car is turning into the gas station, right? Well, what if he doesn't turn and you decide to pull out? As I said, things don't always go as planned and other drivers don't always make good decisions or obey traffic laws. Now it's safe to pull out. One way to prepare for the unexpected is to use a technique called what if. It means as you drive, constantly ask yourself, what if? For instance, what if this car on the left decides to pull out in front of us? What if this car decides to stop suddenly because the light turned yellow? What if this car pulls out in front of you? What if the kid decides to run across the street? Stuff like this happens all the time.
Okay, here's a math quiz. If you're traveling at the posted speed limit, how close will you get to the kid before coming to a stop? The answer? You won't even have your foot on the brake when you hit him. Bash. Well, even if you were paying full attention to the road, it takes several seconds to recognize what's going on, determine if it's a hazard, decide on the appropriate response, and to move your foot from the accelerator to the brake. So, how do you give yourself more time to react? The obvious would be to stay alert and drive slower in busier areas, but there's another technique that can reduce your reaction time. It's called covering the brake. Here's how it works. When you approach a busy area, instead of keeping your foot over the gas, rest your foot gently on the brake pedal, but do not depress it. You're not actually slowing down, but you're ready to at any moment. This technique can give you a few moments more to react to a situation should it occur. Try it yourself, scan for hazards, and ask yourself, what if? Then cover the brake when appropriate. See how quickly you can respond to any situation. Awesome. Okay, I think you got it. Pull over by any of these houses and shut down your vehicle. At first, you might have to make a conscious effort to think, what if? But as you get a little more experience, it'll happen more naturally. You'll have the chance to experience many types of intersections, each with their own set of rules. Let's start with the most common, the four-way stop. At these intersections, every vehicle has a stop sign. The question is, how do you know who gets to go first? The rule is simple. The first one to arrive gets to go first, then the second, then the third. It's important then to pay attention to the order in which the vehicles arrive and come to a stop. Looks like you're number four. Let's get back in the car. When it's your turn to go, drive straight through the intersection. If you're ever unsure whose turn it is, it's safer and more courteous to let the other driver go first. Try to make eye contact with the other driver and use a hand gesture if possible. 
then proceed slowly in case there was any miscommunication. Let me get that on the point, I don't know why. I don't see it. Try this on your own. Pay attention to the order in which the other vehicles arrive and proceed through the intersection when it's your turn. Okay, here's another intersection with very different rules. Notice the other vehicles don't have a stop, only you. In this case, you have to decide when it's safe to pull out. Make sure you use your turn signal to let other drivers know where you're headed. A very common crash occurs when you assume the vehicle in front of you has pulled out and you are still looking to the left. Te quiero ver intentando esto. Especialmente en free driving, man. Intenté free driving y, y <risa> fallé a las millas. Tuve que irme de nuevo a los tutoriales. Signal lights are in a way easier because you have a light that tells you when to go. At many intersections, you can take a right when the signal light is still red. But whether the signal light is red or green, you should look both ways several times before pulling into the intersection. Remember, other drivers don't always obey traffic laws. It's good to leave at least one car length between you and the vehicle in front of you. That gives you room to move around the car if you have to. When the light turns green, you may be ready to take off, but it's safer to wait a few seconds before moving forward. You don't want to be the first one in the intersection if you can help it, because all it takes is for someone to try and beat the light and... Easy. Let's clear up this mess. Okay, let's keep going. Wow. Una experiencia así yo tuve en, en vida real. Le di rápido cuando se puso verde y venía alguien en mandado y me jodió el carro. Taking a left across traffic is tricky as you're intentionally crossing in front of other vehicles. Make sure oncoming traffic is going to stop before proceeding through the intersection, even if you have a green arrow. No mire nada, no mire nada, no mire bien. Ah, oh, María, mano, fallé mucho ahí este. Y ahí. Roundabouts are unique intersections. They're designed so you don't have to stop, but you do have to yield to oncoming traffic, as those vehicles already in the roundabout have the right of way. Merge in when it's safe and look for your exit.
Not all intersections have signal lights or stop signs. For instance, this highway with its on-ramps and off-ramps is just like an intersection where other vehicles will be crossing your path or pulling into your lane. Just note you may need to stop for other vehicles even if you have the right of way. So depending on where you live, railroad crossings may be rare, but you must know what to do and what not to do. The most important thing is to take warning lights seriously. Even if you don't see a train, don't go around the gates or cross the tracks if the lights are flashing. Don't try to beat the train. Trains are moving way faster than they look, and they can't stop in time. And when it comes to a crash between you and a train, the train always wins. Wait until the gates are fully up and all warning lights stop before you cross. Even then, it's good to look both ways before crossing. Don't rely solely on the signal lights. Whatever you do, don't stop on the tracks, even if a train is not coming. If a car is in front of you, it's better to wait till he's out of the way so you don't get trapped if they suddenly stop. Pull over here and shut down the car. I know that it was a lot to learn, but you'll have more time to practice intersections. Bottom line, use caution at all intersections, look both ways, and use your turn signals. And don't assume other drivers will always obey the rules. El one of the infracciones que dice did not look but way, speeding five over limit, heavy braking, did not use turn signal, too close to vehicle ahead at, run red light, run red light. Wow, cuando yo corrí luz roja, de verdad que eso no lo vi. Heavy braking, okay. Bueno, mi gente, pues ya saben, este juego es driving esencial de Virtual Driver Interactive y está disponible en tu plataforma de juegos favorita así que dale una chequeadita sale entonces hasta la próxima que los juegos los acompañen Make the Game Big Win You Game is Out